hi guys so in this video i'm just going to quickly show you how i am applying my transitions what is my simple logic behind applying transitions not in a very professional uh, kind of transitions but transitions that are very fancy transitions especially for the social media what i'm using is actually the cap cut and i have a few of the shots from my singapore visit to the sea aquarium i'll be applying a few transitions and what's the simple basic logic that i always try to keep it you know when applying transitions so this is a one minute uh, video which i've already edited and kept but not the transitions i'm just sharing you know how i am working or my workflow on applying the transitions so let's start so this is my first clip so i just always want to start my first clip with some transition so i don't know why but in the cap cut i am not able to apply a transitions over here so what i always do is actually i'll go to the effects i'll apply this effect to the clip i'll just slightly reduce the, the duration of the effect so this is how i always start since we are not able to add any transition in between i mean beginning of a clip this is how i do i add effects to the starting of the clip so that's done now so if you see uh, i'll not add any anything over here because these three clips are actually kind of a you know a same tone and the same kind of a space or location so i'll just not do that and then let me move on here and then you can see i'm just over right over here if you see i'm just slightly you know uh, pulling it out so it's like you know i'm just out of this glass tunnel so what i think is maybe a pull out will be really good over here so i'll just go to transitions and i'll go to camera let's do a pull out and see how it is working so let me play it a couple of uh, clips behind here it goes and yeah see now you see just get a feel like you know we just came out of that tunnel so that would be good then let's move ahead and let's play it same thing yeah so all this while i don't want to have any transition over here because of the same location or space or colors theme so let like probably then here over here then it's actually entirely a new uh, kind of a space or location so when i say space it's like you know you can refer to color palette color tone location time action objects etc so that's what i always use when we are moving to different space then probably i'll add a another you know a transition a fancy transition uh since this is into a tunnel how about you know a uh, kind of a rotating it and just you know it's all about experimenting so just experiment it and okay maybe yeah that should do yeah and probably it seems like you know i'm just uh, zooming into something so the next shot is as a zoomed uh, a shot of a fish so let's add a pull in so that you know feels like you know i'm zooming i'm looking and you know zooming into something then again you know i don't want any transition because it's kind of the same kind of a it's a different fish but it's a different space but still there's some kind of a similarity so i don't want add too much of thing and here we go then it then suddenly you know it's a totally entirely a different color space all right so let's do one thing so instead of to you know match this let's add something different over here a simple dissolve should do try add another dissolve no how about this mix yeah this is pretty simple and good so i'll just pretty simple and good and let the, you know here i could add one thing though it's the same color space it's look like in the fish is looking up and there's a lot of fish over there so probably you know i can have a camera or some kind of a camera transition maybe you know yeah it's looking up so let me try this yeah see it, it's actually entirely two different space but because of this transition it feels like you know it's on the same uh, color space so that's one good thing of the transition to feel like even though it's a two different uh, locality time space you blend two different clips and make them appear as a one single space so yeah something like this then now it's all together into a different uh, kind of a space also you can see the colors there's a lot of blue over here from the green to blue over here so so these kind of you know entirely different space 
I would always just go for a mix. Let's go for a, let's see a blur. How does the blur does? Yeah, the blur gives actually a different kind of, you can see there's a lot of circles in here. So that looks little good. Maybe a little fancy, yeah. And then it goes, then it goes. I don't want any transitions over here. Yeah, now it's entirely a different space altogether. So here probably let's add something. How about this again, the same blur? Yeah, it's, you know, seems like, you know, it's getting dissolved. Yeah, I, I just like that. It got dissolved and, you know, I'll move ahead. Yeah, this clip stands out because that's a different color space so but here all these these three clips are actually the same color space so let me have a transition over here you can see it's all spiky spiky let's try something from the blur itself let's do this particles over here and let's see how it is coming you can see a little bit of you know spiky spiky over here and here there's a little spiky spiky so okay that's too fast so let me just try to increase the duration of it yeah now I think I liked it a lot. That's good. I don't want anything over here. Let it go, let it go, let it go. And yeah, yeah. Now here probably it seems like, you know, it's going down and going down and it looks like, you know, the fish is actually saw something in the ground. So probably here, probably we can have some of the transition, some camera movement. Uh, top left should do, I guess. Okay, let me try this. It's like clean the duration. Yeah, see, so it went down and saw this fish okay now and bring into entirely a different color space here these three are of the same color space so let me have not too fancy i'm just having a mix would be good enough for me okay there isn't too much of uh, there's not enough of uh, frames to cut so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to slide click cut the frame and here also let me cut it uh, here a little bit and then I'll mix it. Okay. So entirely different color space. I'll better, you know, blend it. I don't want any transitions. Almost the same kind of a color space. So even that's fine. So here. Okay. Now this it's fine for me. And yeah, this is also fine for me. And there it goes. That's entirely a different color space. So and bring this over here so that you know we have a kind of a same color space still here then i have to figure out something a different okay oh yeah it can it seems like it's going to that particular you know to this space so maybe again a camera movement to bottom so i think the top left i see yeah, our top left yeah so something like this and no need of transitions over here and um, how about a, a normal blur yeah i think this is good so this is how you know i usually uh, do my transitions arranging the clips based on the location of the color space or the color palette adding transition between those color spaces mostly if you are jumping from one uh, different color space to entirely on a very different color space i'll not rather pour down all the transitions you know just because of how fancy it looks this is the logic which I usually apply to all most of my social media reels, shorts, if you see. I hope uh, you guys enjoyed it, you know. I'm not sure whether this will work for all the projects. I usually try to apply this logic on 80% of my entire project. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. I'll be back with some other helping tutorials.